The only reason why you're watching this video is because you read that the BRC20 tokens and ordinals on Bitcoin are blowing up and you want to know how you can participate in this mania. And that's exactly what we're going to discuss in this video. So first things first, what are ordinals? Well, ordinals are a technology that can be compared to the NFT standard on uh, Ethereum. And that, of course, was the first product that was launched earlier this year, NFTs, as we can see here. It wasn't a huge success, but it was getting some tractions. Now, why the hell is the Bitcoin network blowing up if it isn't because of these NFTs? Well, the reason is because somebody launched the BRC 20 standard, which of course is similar to the ERC20 that we saw on Ethereum. So the whole idea is that they are going to create smart contracts on Bitcoin. So not on the Lightning Network, but directly on the Bitcoin Network. So the whole idea and dream of having as much smart contract volume on Bitcoin as we have on Ethereum is causing the whole market to skyrocket. And that is why we see that we had 3 million ordinal inscriptions last night, which of course is insane. And this pushed the gas fees all the way up to $50, $60 just to get a transaction through. So for the miners, of course, this is great news because I think I heard that in one single block, there is six Bitcoin in fees. Of course, that is completely mind boggling and uh, that is of course good news for the bitcoin community it's bad news for us if we want to get into this scene because we'll be paying a lot of gas fees so the first thing you'll have to do is get a wallet one of the wallets you can use is unisat and the other one is ordinals wallet so ordinals wallet is ordinalswallet.com i'll put a link in the description so once you arrive you just click on create wallet and then you follow these steps so create new wallet fill in a password then you click generate seed next fill this one in and then click next and you're good to go as always never share these words with anyone so of course i'm not going to use this wallet write them down don't save them on your computer and again never share them with anyone because then you're giving access to your wallet now, if you don't like using a, a normal browser wallet and you prefer to use a plugin, then go to uniset.io. Again, I'll put a link in the description and just download the uh, Chrome plugin. Then you can use it just like a MetaMask. Now, once you created your wallet, of course, it's time to put some Bitcoin in there. Otherwise, you can't do any transactions. The easiest way to get some coins in your new wallet is, of course, using a centralized exchange and then transfer some Bitcoin into your wallet. Of course, I understand a lot of people after last year are not interested in using centralized exchanges anymore. So how the hell do you get some coins from the Ethereum network to the Bitcoin network? For that, of course, you have to use a bridge. And the one that I found was most accessible is actually Atomic Wallet. So yes, it is a wallet application, but good news, you don't even have to download their app. So just go to the Atomic Wallet website. Again, I'll put a link in the description so you can't make any mistakes. Scroll down. And then over here, you'll find Exchange Now. As you can see, you can transfer from one network to the other, and there is an insane amount of choice. So in this case, let's see if we can transfer from Arbitrum because the gas fees there are low. Let's scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. There you go. And then we're going to transfer to the Bitcoin network. So just as an example, we're going to exchange one ETH and we are going to send it over to the Bitcoin network. Give it some time to update. There you go. We will be getting 0.06. Now, keep in mind, the fees are very high, so it is possible that you're paying $50 in uh, transaction fees. Let me click Exchange. Next, you copy-paste your uh, BTC address. Next, you copy-paste your BTC address. And after that, you click Exchange. On the last page, you will see a QR code and an Ethereum address, and then you send the amount chosen to that address. Now, in this case, I'm using Arbitrum and I chose one Ethereum. So I simply sent one Ethereum to this address. And usually this only takes a few seconds and then I'll start confirming, exchanging, and then it will send the tokens. Now, this process will take about 15 minutes, but do keep in mind, it doesn't mean that you will get the BTC in your wallet immediately. The Bitcoin network is highly congested. My last transfer took eight hours and I've heard people waiting even 13 hours to get their money. So please, again, keep it in mind if you're transferring from an exchange or from a bridge like this, it will take several hours for it to arrive in your wallet. 
So once we are connected to the ordinalswallet.com website and we have connected our wallet and we have some funds in there, we can click on BRC20 and there we see all the BRC20 tokens. So of course, Pepe has been pumping and the Ordi token has been pumping as well because this is the original and the first token. And as we can see, it already has a market cap of half a billion, which is insane, of course. So if you want to buy, just click on the token you want to buy. And over here you see all the different tokens. Now this is not what you're used to. It's not like a normal exchange because they're using the same system as they're using for the ordinal NFTs. So all the tokens are grouped in a block. So as we can see, the price is $25 per Orti, but you have to buy 500 at once, 1000 at once and so forth. Buying of course is as simple as buying an NFT. So you click buy now. In my case, of course, I don't have any funds in there, but then you just click sign a transaction and you're good to go. Same thing for Unisat, just connect, connect to Unisat wallet. Then you click on marketplace. So on the marketplace, we see the exact same thing. You have the different offers. Again, it's in blocks. So in this case, at least you can buy per 50, per 100 and so forth. So there's a little bit more choice than we have on ordinalswallet.com. Just click buy. Then you get a pop-up with all the information. And if you agree, you can click confirm again. I don't have any funds in this wallet, so I will not be able to buy, but you get the idea. Now, very important to keep in mind, there are a lot of people trying to access this website, so it will be very, very slow and you might have to refresh a few times. It's also important to keep in mind that everything here is experimental, so be careful and don't put too much money on it. Now, one last thing before we finish off this video, and this is something that took me a while to understand, is if you want to sell your ordinals, it is important that you prepare them for transfer first. So on ordinalswallet.com, just click on your wallet, then click on BRC20, then click on create transfer inscription and say how many of your tokens you want to make available for transfer. So this is not selling them, it's just making them available. So in this case, let's say 16, then we click on create inscription. Now, if you can't click it like in my case, that means that the transaction isn't validated yet. So again, it'll take hours before a transaction is completely validated. So it is possible that you see it in your wallet, but you can't do anything with it yet until it's completely validated. So in this case, I will have to wait a few more hours, then I can create my inscription, have to wait again a few more hours, and then I can go to the marketplace and put it up for sale. Now, putting them up for sale cannot be done in here. For that, you go to My Inscriptions. And over here, you can choose the option List for Sale. So again, make sure you inscribe it first so it's available for transfer, and then you can list it for sale. So on this page, you will find all your inscriptions, including the BRC20s and all your NFTs. And as you can see, we can click on a list for sale right here and put the item up for sale. But again, in the case of BRC20s, they have to be available and confirmed for transfer first. Then you can list them and then you'll have to wait again a few hours before it's confirmed and then it will show up in the marketplace. So I guess buying something and selling at the current time with the current amount of traffic and delays on the Bitcoin network, it will probably take you a full day, maybe even more to buy and sell an ordinal or a BRC20 product. So quick recap, the whole space is blowing up. You will be paying 50 or $60 for any transaction. You will be waiting several hours to get anything done. You will not be able to truly buy and sell anything until all the transactions are confirmed. And again, that will take several hours. So the main takeaway is you'll have to be very patient. Right, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, hit that like button and don't forget to post a little comment because that will help push the video in the YouTube algorithm. Thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.